Tokyo is one of the world's great cities. Every day it produces high-tech gadgets, high-end business deals and 14,000 tonnes of garbage. If there was a prize for waste production, Tokyo would have it in the bag, or more accurately, all across the footpath. Just how the rubbish gets strewn everywhere is a mystery. The local people take cleanliness very seriously, and it's unlikely there are any wild animals in the centre of the city. We went in search of answers. Other big cities have to deal with rats or perhaps monkeys, but Tokyo's scourge is big, black and beaked. The birds with wingspans of up to one metre are right at home in this urban jungle. The government insists residents use plastic bags rather than bins, and that's easy pickings. In 1985, there were 7,000 crows in central Tokyo. Now there are 40,000. People and crows once lived in peaceful coexistence. So much so, the birds were considered sacred. Not anymore. During breeding season, the crows develop nasty attitude problems. <laughs> Japanese television reports any attack with bird bites man hysteria. <laughs> Well armoured and armed, these men are preparing to go into battle. They're at the front line of the local government's fight back. They've been given the job of killing baby crows. That seems like a sensible attitude. The adult crows circle menacingly as he climbs the ladder. The plan isn't to stone the crows, it's to suffocate them. <laughs> Two chicks are put in a bag. The third tries to fly to safety, but doesn't get very far. The nest is next. As it's broken up, scores of wire coat hangers come loose. Another of Tokyo's mysteries solved. Kerisu so far this year, the local government has disposed of more than 300 nests and 770 chicks. But the birds have found an ally. Professor Hiroshi Higuchi is Japan's leading ornithologist and the author of a best-selling book, What's Wrong with Crows? He says it's not the birds that are to blame, it's the humans. <laughs> it's the responsibility that uh, increases the number of crows by providing uh, uh, garbage. 
is it fair then that the city has decided to kill mm -hmm. the crows? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's uh, oh, not fair for crows because uh, oh, <coughs> yeah, I, I think crows uh, would like to complain about people or killing them because it's a uh, oh, fault oh, yeah, for people. The government's offensive aims to reduce crow numbers by one third. But since the war began, crow numbers have actually increased. Unless the city deals with the rubbish that lies at the root of the problem, or perhaps considers a radical solution such as garbage bins, it's the birds that will have the last laugh.